Hello, my name is Amy Ecker and welcome to my channel. Today I'm doing a smoky look using Urban Decay's Naked Smoky Palette. These colors are gorgeous. Um, they blend well. They're soft. They are lovely. Today I used a bit of Combust 13 Whiskey. Um, let's see. I also used some Dagger and some Slanted. So if you want to see how I use those colors to get this smoky look, stay tuned. This smoky palette is really pretty. It's got some browns and some bluish grays. So we'll see what the, what we come up with next. Starting with the fluffy brush, I'm going to use 13 as my base color, going all the way up to the brow bone from the eyelash line. I'm going to use Dagger on that same fluffy brush. And I'm going to go around from the end here, the lower crease. that in towards the inner corner of the eye. I actually should have started with the steps and some of be using dark colors um, to protect my for the fallout I'm just going to use some tape. I put it on the back of my hand to get off some of the stickiness. Just apply on that lower line. I'm trying to get a similar angle. I'm going to take a fluffy brush and I'm just going to smooth that gray out. And again, this is called Dagger. So I'm going to blend that in with Combust that we put on earlier using windshield wiper motions, swirly motions. We're just trying to make that look a little softer and that swirly motions is very technical <laughs> short flat kind of but fluffy flat and fluffy right um, or a fluffier flat brush I'm going to use slanted and we will just put this on the spot that we kept open Taking our fluffy brush, we're going to go right over that to mix those two colors together. Don't forget to use their swirly techniques that I mentioned earlier. Very technical. Very hardcore. <laughs> When you feel that you've got those blended out, the next color we're going to use is a mix between Whiskey and Radar. I'm going to take another little clean fluffy brush. Um, I'm going to dab Whiskey and a little bit of Radar. What I'm going to use is that right along where the transition color should be and I'm going to sweep it down because I want to ground these grays with a little bit of neutral. That will make it less scary. And as I've mentioned in some previous videos, I always, for me, like to ground colors with neutrals just to help colors that I normally wouldn't choose for me to become comfortable with and or if they are bright and cool since my skin gravitates towards warm tones it still allows me to play with the cool tones but again grounding that color with some warm tones lets you be able to use colors you don't think you can. With another little brush I'm going to use the color 13 we're going to go right underneath the brow bone, a bit on the inner corner to wake up the eye. Ta-da! And that's not as bad as pulling out the band-aid, I promise. 
again my fluffy brush fluffy brushes are good when you're using darker colors just to be able to smooth those out because if you don't blend well with darker colors you know people notice it a lot quicker so by blending the darker colors you end up it, it softens it makes it look really nice if you feel like you've taken off too much because you've blended you can always um, build up the tardiest pencil in our waterline and I get it everywhere the other thing about putting on makeup is don't be afraid if you make a mistake and get nervous and worried as you see I've got a little further down on the waterline here but not over here it's okay because we're gonna smoke it out and I'm gonna use the whiskey some whiskey and smoke Ooh, what a Friday And by taking this flat brush, I'm going to be mixing in that Too Faced liner with the brown whiskey. If you feel you've gotten too smoky or it's gone too far down, you can always use a Q-tip. Tip, you can just kind of clean up the edges really easy for our wing I'm going to be using a guitar pick and the tip of the other side of the tardiest so I'm going to line the guitar pick basically with the edge of my eye um, and having it go out a little bit further than my eyebrow just going to give me a good starting line. So I want to try to line it up as close to what I used on my left, your right. And now I've got two basically even wings started. So now that the pressure of where my wing is going to go is off, I'm going to go in with the Sephora. This is a gel liner with my angled brush. And I usually just start actually on the outer part of my eye first and work a little bit in until I get some of the product off. And once I have a little bit of the product off, then I go in to the inner corner and work my way out. the lash adhesive and just dab that on my eyelid next to the eyelash line. If I get any on my eyelashes, I'm just going to wipe that off. I'll be using the Kara 605s. Those are drying. I'm going to go in with the Makeup Geek Starlight and a fan brush. And we're going to just put in a little bit of highlight or a lot bit because I like it a lot. I'm going to use a little bit of ColourPop's Lights Out and I'm going to put that on the inner piece of my lips just to give it a little bit of an ombre look. I wanted to lighten it up just a little bit with, since I'm having such a heavy dark eye, I thought that would be a better balance. I'm going to use Waterproof Mascara by Maybelline Lash Sensational for my bottom lashes. I'm going to use the Maybelline Lash Sensational 
to put a coat on my lashes to blend those with the artificial eyelashes. Blend and darken mine up anyways. And that's how you get this look. I hope you enjoyed watching my tutorial today. I want to thank you for taking your time with me. I know you have the opportunity to watch many beautiful artists on YouTube and for the fact that you spent some time with me means the world to me. If you haven't subscribed already, please consider subscribing. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up or refer me to a friend. I do take referrals. I hope you want to have a wonderful day and make it a beautiful one.